So this is gonna be a video for those that are new moms and these are all my tips and recommendations for after birth. You're gonna need a bunch of pillows as always so you can rearrange them in a way that you are the best the most comfortable you know supporting your arms and after the baby sleeps on you if you put him all tucked in with all the pillows he will feel way cozier and he will stay longer sleeping so i usually have him face down like this and then i transport him face down to another pillow right next to me and he stays there for a little bit making sure that he's definitely covered and warm um all kids are different with this one uh, he had a umbilical hernia so his process of uh, i guess the bathroom you know it's been a little different than my first so i didn't do the potty training with him and i'm just trying to let him be comfortable to go to the bathroom however he wants to go because he hates it and um so i had it the diaper cloth and for this one also my recommendation is that you have bigger diapers like always one to two sizes bigger than what they wear that way it absorbs more and it's not tight around their skin and their legs and doesn't leave any marks um there is a brand huggies brand don't ever buy that it has patterns on the diapers it hurts their skin and it's kind of like sandpaper you know polishing and it's just it will get them like more red so don't use huggies diapers bad um i guess i'm using pampers <coughs> they seem to be have like a flat surface and they seem to work best and uh also in their clothing you must buy things that are way bigger than them that way they can move around and stretch instead of feeling restricted with their body that way they can continue you know like with the old rank of motion and uh, let's see i gave this one a pacifier I recommend uh, hand pumping and uh, I guess all babies are different breastfeeding and for me with this one you know it's been a different experience so I definitely recommend hand pumping and allowing others to to feed your baby mostly your family members that way they can all have a bonding experience and um, something super important the toes most of the onesies when we are carrying them or lifting them up or lifting all their onesie up pulling his tiny little toes and end up being super curled in and it hurts them so in case they're crying and they have a onesie and their toes are like all crumb like curled in that's the reason like they're in pain so i recommend toes free um you know panties shirts socks instead of a onesie it's best for them way better and for you because that way you don't have to be taking or you know putting a onesie back and forth and the diaper will come out easily if it's just a short in socks because that way the toes are hot a warm job and that's for me and Tori. thanks for listening i hope all the kiddos out there listen to the steps so everybody can get some good growing and you know things that i didn't know i learned from my mistakes and all of this goes for the new mama so good luck